dance upon the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will change No Become Ugh. More like butchering Don't know why I bother No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... <clears throat> Nothing fits, you know? I... We lost people on the way here, and the dead deserve to be remembered. That's what my teacher always said. Hmm... It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will turn to ash When you call the last light down First time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. Keep the loot. Please. You've earned it. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. Flackets will be done. Dance the pause tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Your violence is drawing the wrong kind of attention. Keep going, and there might be trouble. Can't give up now.
I would have words with you. Hark! Hark! A camp, and Hogma willing. Some friendly faces. Well met. Goblins roughed me up and stole my hose when they heard me singing Hatchling Love. <laughs> you wouldn't have half a bedroll for a lost minstrel, would you? I can pay for my board with music, if you care for it. I'll just stay one night. Promise. Then I'll be gone. I know I'm ice blood, but I, I get cold so fast. I need to be by the fire. You open your eyes with a lurch. And you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. single moment comes to you, the flash of abject terror in her eyes, blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. There is nothing else here, and no one else around. You and the corpse seem to have been alone together for quite some time. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? If you could craft a corpse like this in one night, what masterpieces have you sculpted in your forgotten decades? You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Her guts start to spill and flow everywhere as you shift her. You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. Themselves. What kind of nightmare is this? I'm going to say something I'm confident we're all thinking. Um, what's this you're doing? I think that's quite bloody obvious. But why? This is not beyond the remit of what the parasite might command. 
The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. If the parasite is truly to blame, we must be more vigilant than ever and hope this affliction spreads no further. I'm keeping my eye on you. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone with a familiar headache.